Okay, folks. Here we go with a technical video. I've been getting a lot of requests for this particular subject of safety wiring. So, first step in safety wiring is how do you drill these little tiny holes in these bolts? So what we're going to do is we're going to take two regular bolts that are going to be needed on my little Supermoto and we're going to drill some holes using hopefully only one of these drill bits. Actually that one's been used. I'll get a new one. Uh, it's not always possible to do it with just the one bit but we shall see. So once we've done the first one we'll then use this handy dandy little jig which holds the bolt in place and the little set screw actually has a hole in it also so it allows you to drill perfectly square holes a little more accurately but it's not strictly speaking absolutely necessary so first things first I would much rather drill through the narrowest part of the bolt there's just less metal to cut so I'm going to put my little center punch hole right opposite the very thinnest part of the bolt right there and I don't want to make it too deep because I don't want to run the risk of drilling through the base so I'm going to make it yeah, about there and then just give it a bit of a tap okay it's not much of an indentation let's give it another one it's a little bigger okay so of course as always we don't want to put it in the vise too tight because we don't want to damage the threads it's just enough to really hold it in place let's see there we go okay now the secret here is to not let the drill bit get too hot you don't want to run it too fast and you want to keep it straight you don't want to start drilling at this angle and then while you're going lower it to this angle that will cause a dr drill bit to break. You want to keep it horizontal, you want to keep it slow, so we're going to do it on speed number one and we're going to use copious amounts of lubricant. Okay. It's actually bent. Now, you'll find that if you're doing multiple bolts, as is quite often the case with a new race bike, you'll need multiple drill bits because no matter how careful you are, these break quite easily. Which is why it's actually worthwhile buying that little jig, because it'll save you from breaking bits. And the bits are not that expensive, but the time it takes you to get new ones is the pain. So it's a time saver in terms of being able to do the job tonight instead of having to wait a couple of days for another box of bits to arrive. Okay, so... That's going along quite well. Now I'm not putting a lot of force in it, just a little. You don't want to be pushing like this on a bolt, drilling with just small drill bits like these.
really surprised it's bent as it is. Maybe these have all been used. Okay, <clears throat> these bits are all dull. Pulled out a new one from a box of spares I happen to have and it's cutting much better. Okay, that's the difference between a dull bit and a sharp bit. Now, why not use this hole as a guide for the next hole? So I will just drill straight through. wasn't quite straight, I'm angled up slightly, so I may have to turn it around and start over, but let's see. And again, critical, absolutely critical. And these chips will kill a drill bit, so keep them clean. Keep the, keep the chips away from the cutting surface. Okay, that's the first one. Now, that's pretty close, it's not perfect, but it'll do. And I forgot the but most important thing. Once you're done drilling, you, there's a very sharp edge left on the corner of the hole. Really helps to deburr that hole. There, just like that. Tiny little rounded edge there now instead of the sharp edge. Okay, so that's one down. Now, as I mentioned, it is possible to do it without the jig, but if you've got it, might as well use it. And if you're going to do a lot of safety wiring, say for example, you've got a new bike that you've just bought and you have to get it ready for a race and you've got a lot of bolts to wire, this is the way to do it. Okay, through the thin section. And I need a washer on this. Okay.
chips are going to get caught up in that circle, in that little hole. Don't let them get, don't let them build up too much. Okay. So, that's about as much as I want to use that drill bit for. Okay, it's a little more accurate. Okay, let's do the deburring. And then, the next step... There, that's all it takes to deburr. Just that little silver ring around the hole. That's taken the edge off. If I could deburr the inside, I will. I would, but it's really not possible. But the wire is going to be curved around here more tightly. Okay, so that's how to drill a hole, both the easy way and the hard way, with a jig, without, with a sharp drill bit, without. And that's what happens when the drill bit goes dull. Alright, so that's the first video. Next video will be on actually tying the safety wire to wire these two bolts together to hold the brake caliper on a supermoto. So, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching.